Hi everyone, so we're back. Right, so I know I look crazy because I've got these eye patches on and they're falling off, but this is going to be the tutorial, um, not a tutorial, video, I'm just going to call it a video, um, of all the BBB creams, the prime, the tinted moisturisers and I think there's a CC cream in there. Um, so if you'd followed me on Instagram, you would have seen that we would I would spoke about um, like good products like this and a lot of you guys had recommended some. So what I've done is I've went and bought them. Um, I bought them most of them in travel size unless um, they didn't come in travel size and then I bought the full size. I don't have any tan on just because I couldn't remember the colours I ordered if they were suitable for when I've got tan on. And I also just wanted to let you guys see it true to my colour. Basically I've got one, two, three, four, five. So my plan of action is I'm going to get up every single day. So today is Tuesday, I was meant to do it yesterday, but if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that I was painting, which by the way, done a magnificent job. Artis. Each day I'm going to get up, put them on as I'm, as I'm doing my, like just as I want to wear them. And then I'll come back on the camera later on that night and tell you how they look, how they feel, how long they've lasted. And yeah, all that kind of stuff. Just so you guys can see, because quite a lot of you were like, oh my god, please. Um, tell them what people were saying. So basically what I went and done was I went and bought the most popular um, and narrowed it down to like the five um, of the most popular. To be fair, there was like only one or two others that maybe one or like a few people had mentioned. Everyone had kind of mentioned these ones. So yeah, the colours, now what I'll say is the colours might not be perfect to my skin because obviously with them being some of them small size, there wasn't as many colours on offer. And also I might have picked the wrong colours. So I'm going to just give it a bash. We'll see how we got on. And then each day I'll come back on and do another one. And then at the end of the week we can, well I can, because you aren't actually here right now with me. Um, I can tell you what I think my one's a favourite and then I'll probably go buy my favourite unless I've already got it here. Quickly for a start, I went on Look Fantastic. Or was, wait, what one's Look Fantastic? Yeah, so it was Look Fantastic last night. And then... Um, it was like half 10 and I bought these. Now they were £22 and you get 30 pairs so that's not even a pound a pair. And the other ones I bought the other day were £6 for one set so I'm like oh my god and I'd seen quite a few, few people use these. Um, so yeah I'm going to just take them off because I've had them on since I was drying and tonguing my hair so they've been on for probably a good half hour. Basically the whole point of this is because I'm really just not enjoying makeup anymore like a full face and I just really want something light that I can then just do like brows, like all the other wee bits and bobs that go along with it. Well let me just talk through the ones that I've got. So I have or the Ordinary um, and that is the Serum Foundation. Okay it's 30ml. I have, this is what a lot of you had said, the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser. Another one was the next Bear With Me Tinted Skin Deal. Um, this was a, to be honest, I'd say the Laura Mercer and this one were the most popular. It's the It Cosmetics Your, Your Skin But Better CC Cream. And then another one that I've already used, I thought I would throw it in because I do like it but I don't love it, is the Elf Foundation Serum. I feel like it's quite a drying one. So I feel like it can sometimes come off here. But I don't know if that's because I'm constantly touching my face. So yeah, I'll put links to everything down below. Obviously, it's different for everyone. So you have your own preference and your own skin type. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I found this in my cupboard, right? In my makeup cupboard. And honestly, I sent it to the... I'm going to actually pop the photo up here, right? This was what my face looked like with no makeup on, just brows, lip gloss and this. It's going to pop up. It's going to be here. Yep. Um, and I sent it into the group chat with the girls and I was like, girls, my skin. And they were like, oh my god, what is on it? And it was just this. So this is good if you just don't want to wear anything on it, like, makeup-wise. So this is Figs and Rouge Wonder Love Charm. So it's basically a glow elixir. Um, distinctive brightening and charming elixir designed to brighten, to delight and intensify skin's natural glow. And by the way, it does. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it on.
you'll be able to see it in that photo I put up obviously right but like the glow on my skin like I've been doing this last couple of days just this um, with just dries and gloss and honestly it's been game changing so what do I want to start I'm so like fuck I've got too much to choose from right do you know what I'm just gonna give me the Laura Mercier right I went for colour 2 in 1 nude not got a clue so this is the travel size one um, I don't even think the real one is that expensive. I just wasn't buying them all big size in case I hated them and then I've got all these products. So you can add this to your sunscreen. That match I'm going to put on. Okay, so colour wise. Yeah, colour wise. It is warm. I will give it that. But I feel like with no tan, I could blend this into my neck. No problem. Obviously it's not going to be as noticeable on camera because I'm not wearing like a full coverage foundation. Um, like my last makeup tutorial that you could tell that I was applying it to my, my face if you know what I mean. But yeah I think already on camera you can definitely see that I've applied something to my skin. No, the lightning here is shocking. I'm actually going to move. Hold the bus. Yeah. Like you can definitely see that I have something on my skin so back in here so so far so good so I'm literally I would say that was what was that three three squirts so I'm going to add a little bit more just to see if it's buildable however I, what I just had on there is enough for me I think I just want to see if the product is buildable it is so really get that into your neck. So it's glowy, but it's not greasy. Oh, honestly guys, this one in real life is so, so nice. Gives you a little bit of colour, a little bit of coverage, but I can still see all my freckles and things like that. I'm gonna take these out and just see. I really like this. It's gonna get, get just gave me like an all over glow and colour in my skin. It's not too dark either. So I feel like this is perfect for if you don't have tan on. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go in and do my brows. And this is basically the makeup that I'm wanting to do day to day. Um, and this is why I'm trying this. So using my pre-marked brow that I did in my YouTube tutorial. I just want super light brows because I'm going for a really natural type of look. Then I'm just taking a clear brow gel. I'm just going to brush that up such a nice day outside guys like no joke if you live in glasgow it is hot really like this really like it um some gloss and i use a little mare it's the volume it's the lip volumized volumizer do you hear that hold on bear so yeah mascara I'm not just saying this and like, I'm not getting paid to do this guys. This one is amazing, really. Obviously I've not tried on the other ones, but so far, like even up closer, like it just gives your skin like an all over finish. It's so, so good. So obviously you could leave your makeup like this or you, if you're wanting to do this more all the time and still keeping like your glam and stuff, go in with a little bit of bronzer and just kind of, Add a slight bit of definition to your cheeks and your forehead. Oh my god. Guys, I fucking love this one. I want some blush on today. I'm, do you know I'm, do you know where I'm going? I'm actually going out the back. So yeah, I'm getting super glam for hee -haw. So I've got on, obviously, the, the tinted moisturiser. Um, a wee bit of bronze, a wee bit of blush. I put on some brows, mascara and gloss. Like, you can see it's just honestly giving my skin like a little bit of a glow. I don't know if the lighting's better here for you guys to see, but my bed's not made. Like, I honestly love it. Um, so yeah, so far so good. Okay, so day one, Laura Mercier has been on for eight hours. Um, 
I've sat in the sun, so I, that, that may affect it for how long it's lasted. However, I love it. Blended well, stayed on, lovely. Um, feels good on my skin, feels super light on my skin. You don't even feel like anything you've got on your skin. Didn't come off when I touched it. Um, so on that, the pricing of this one, the Laura Mercer Tinted Moisturiser, for the full size, it's £35. And for the travel size, which is the size I bought, was 15 Um To be honest, for a travel size, it's quite big. Um, so you could probably potentially probably buy one of them a month. Um, and the travel size, it's 25ml. Um, and the big size, it's 50ml. So um, there's more colours in the big size. So, so that's that's probably what would sway people more to buy the big one. Um, but I love it, it's super natural. I took some photos as well. Um, that when I put up this YouTube, I'll put them on my story so you can see what it looks like on an actual phone. Because sometimes on the camera, I feel like, like I can't take a proper good selfie with it. Potentially gonna buy the big one, depending on how I feel about the rest. But yeah, so far this one has sold me. Like you can see I've got something on my face, but it's just not heavy. And like you can still see all my freckles. Day one is good. Hi everyone, we're back, it's day two. What one will I try today? So I put tan on, so I feel like I need to try one that is a bit more darker in colour. We are going for the IT Cosmetics CC Plus. Um, this is the travel size one. It has SPF 50 in it, and I've went for shade medium. No, it's not. But to, to be honest, this one and the Laura Mercier um, were the two most popular ones. That one's really affordable as well. It's not expensive. So I was just out doing a wee bit of shopping and picking things up for the post office. So what I'm going to do is I put brows on. I'm going back in with... I don't know why, but my face is quite sore. Um, I'm going back in with the little illuminator. Can you see it? Okay, this. I think this is going to work for my tan. Oh my god, this one smells unreal. Oh my god, it smells like minty. Okay, so that was one pump, okay? And I've spread that across two cheeks. And to be honest, it has covered my cheek, nose and mouth area. So if you're not wanting to use a lot, or if you're really, really wanting such a super light um, coverage, then... I think so far it really looks like you don't need that much of that one. So I'm going to give me a little bit more across my head. So the consistency of this one's quite dry. Um, it's not really shiny I would say at all. So if you've got quite oily skin this one would probably be a really good option for you guys. So yeah, this one I would say slight more coverage. You can still see all your freckles and things like that but yeah. I would say slightly fuller coverage for this one if you're asking my opinion on it which I don't know if you are but if you're watching this you might be asking my opinion. What I found again as well about the Laura Mercier one, loved it right, however as the day goes on obviously your skin produces natural oils right so I think I would maybe next time I'm wearing that set it I would maybe just go under my eyes quickly with a little bit of setting powder like the Charlotte Tilbury one that I use um, is probably the best one. Yeah, like that one just kind of go under just so that like as the day goes on your natural oils don't shine through. Now, I don't know whether to do like concealer and things like that with these. Like I would do a full face but I think the whole point is I am trying to keep it super natural. Like I'm really not wanting it to be full. So I'm going to take a little bit of pressed powder and just kind of swish it under the eye and along the forehead. Just where you feel like maybe you do get more shiny. It hasn't changed the look of it in real life. Back in with the bronzer. Yeah, I quite like this one now that it's coming together. Like, see so now that you, when you add all your bits and bobs. So funny. So tonight, I was um, on Zoom, because it's Friday, obviously that means quiz night with the girls. We're changing up a little bit. We're doing a theme. Um, and we're doing Spice Girls. Um, but it's like a surprise. No one knows what you're going as. And I'm going as um, Posh. I've ordered a wig that's due to arrive today at some point. I think Lee's gutted that he's not here to be honest because he's like, oh my god, I feel like I'm dating a new girl with you wearing a black wig, but 
I was like, sorry son, that will be going straight in the bin when it's done. So you get it, that's me just done like blusher, brows, I'm going to get a wee gloss. Um, I'm going to just use a next one. Mm, yeah, pasty. In real life, I've got more colour to my face, I think, because I've got the ring light on, you can't properly see it. But, right, this one in real life is really nice. Not very good at this, guys. So, in real life, I've got more of a colour. So, yeah. Fuller coverage, but nice and matte. I don't feel shiny or greasy at all. I feel like more I've had a full... I feel like I've got my foundation on and I've said it, but I don't feel like I've got foundation on, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, I'll come back at the end of the day let you know how this one turns out but that you can see all my freckles right up close in my dial there but hi everyone we're back day three of reviews by the way my face is swollen i took a allergic reaction to cream that i put on so obviously i was um yesterday's one was it cosmetics right the texture of that one was really good, I must admit I did like it. It is more thicker, so a little bit more coverage, but you can totally still wear it supernatural, right? But what I did was, I wanted to see if you could wear it glam. Also everyone, I'm wearing my friend Tara's brand. If you haven't checked it out, it's popping up here, so go check it. So I did glam makeup yesterday using it. Let's see if it focuses. Can you see that? So that's like lashes, Blusher, contour, lip liner, gloss, brows, some highlight, eyeshadow, lashes. You can totally wear it full coverage. Um, I wouldn't say it's full coverage, you can still see all your freckles and all that, but it is just a wee bit more glam. Um, but I kind of like that because it means that when you're going out, you're not wearing foundation still. So, like, especially with summer and stuff coming up like you'll still look so naturally pretty is basically what i'm trying to say you'll feel more glam and in photos and stuff you'll look a bit more glam wouldn't be me if i didn't have my clips in so right so what one am i doing today so so far we've done the laura mercier the it cosmetics right i'm going to try the next one so this is the nyx or next whatever you call it professional makeup bear with me tinted skill Tinted Skin Veil. This is a 27ml, so I'm sure this is a small one. Um, up to 8 hours wear, it says. I went for beige caramel. No, beige camel. Okay, so you can obviously see the coverage difference. It's quite full, if I'm honest. I think this is better if you're looking for like a more of a foundation but just a light one. Oh my god my face is so sore to touch it's so annoying being allowed to everything on your skin guys like even my fake tan like last night putting a, I put an extra layer on cause Lee was coming home today and obviously you want to look good for your boyfriend do you know what I mean you've not seen him in two weeks but I already had some on because I put some on for photos and my skin's sore I'm just kind of really sore now yeah I'm not bashing this one whatsoever however I would say this is more of a foundation vibe rather than oh look at me I have nothing on my skin do you know what I mean you can still see all my freckles and a little bit of my redness in my cheeks so it's not full in any uh, like at all it's not like a full coverage foundation I feel bad I'm not I don't want to bash any brands in it because it's, it's a lovely product I like it but it is just um filler so feeling on the skin quite a matte one there's no sheen to it doesn't feel oily on the skin either so yeah if you're quite oily this probably would be a good one for you um so i'm going to just go in and set just a smidge so just so that it stays a little bit with the charlotte tilbury okay so just did like the all over bronzer gonna go in with the milano milani brush a blush right brows Okay, so to be honest, now it's come together, I do like it, but I'm going to still agree with what I'm saying. It's quite foundation-y. It's not like glowy skin vibes. The kind of whole point for this for me was I wanted one that I could just put on with a bit of bronzer and a bit of blusher and mascara and not look like I've got much on, do you know what I mean? 
Honestly, I love this stuff. It's a La Mer. This would be the finished look. I don't know what you guys think. It has more foundation-y. Obviously, you can still see... And obviously, my mascara is cleaned up right, but you can still see a little bit of my freckles and things, but... Okay, backtracking. Now that it's done, it does look like a full makeup, right? So, but I really like foundation. So what I would say was, see if you're looking for a product that you want, you're wanting to just really change up and go super natural, but glam, then I would get this one. And to be honest, it's a fair size tube and I think it was really cheap. I think it was between like the 10 and 15 pound mark for that tube and it's quite, like there's quite a lot in it. It's quite a, sounds mental, but quite a heavy tube, whereas the La Mer one wasn't as full. Because it's glam enough that if I was going to a party, like a garden party, beer garden, out with the girls dinner, I would probably wear this. Because it is like that little bit more glam. Um, but obviously most people are kind of just wanting that one product. But then again, I do like wearing something different that I wear during the day to something different at night, so you feel the difference. So I'm actually going to go back and say I could really like this one. And... I would probably keep this for when I'm going out, let's see like the old firm like going to the pub and stuff like that with the boys or like with the girls and stuff right. I think this is a really good one to invest in as well, it's so affordable so it's good that if it is just something that you have in your makeup bag it's not mega expensive. Um, because now that I've got my blush and my freckles, my mascara and my brows on I do really like it but it's just not what we were talking about, everyone was talking about wanting something really light so it's not that, that's what I will say so you can see all, excuse this bit of my hair by the way my fringe snapped and that's it just growing back so Jack always asked me not to curl it so I always just need to pull it back but like you can see the wee freckles that I've drew on you can probably see like yeah like it's still light, it's not heavy, I don't feel it on my skin I really like this one guys, like I feel like it's perfect for that if you are quite a natural person and you don't really like foundation anymore then this is a good one for it so that you feel like you're still glam like see if you want to do like a glam, la an eye glam lash so I'm happy with how this has turned out it's just not what we were saying about the whole have no makeup on vibe just shows you how when like first trying things like first putting on this product I was like no it's not what we're looking for everyone and then finished result I'm like oh, I love it it's like sometimes then you take a bite of something and you're like and then like you've scoffed the whole thing you're like oh, that was so good I do that all the time Morph this is a good one I got it from the Morphe website it did take a little bit longer to come but the the email went to say it was just regarding um, COVID-19 there was a major delay um, with their courier so I don't think normally they take as long. It wasn't super long, which maybe like I think it was two weeks so. But I actually always use a Decay All Nighter. I've used it for years and that's I used it when I worked there. I'd probably say all nighter um Urban Decay is my favourite and it's the best, but that's really good as well. So I'm actually standing in corrected here guys. I think it only comes in this size. All twelve shades. So the MYX website has twelve shades. Um, I'm sure the look fantastic at 11. Um, again, it's £10. But yeah, these are just my opinions. I'm not being, and I'm making sure that I'm not being judgmental either or coming across rude. If I, have, if I am coming across rude when I'm giving you my opinion, just let me know because I've seen YouTubers like me and my pal and my Clara talk about this one night and we watched a video of someone and I was the whole way through it, we were just like, oh my god, why is she being a bitch about that brand? Like, because at the end of the day, like, not that any of these brands will see this, but I would take for them to be like, who does she think she is? Like, do you know what I mean? When it's your personal opinion, like you might, well, that's maybe what you're looking for, blah, 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 whatever. Do you know what I mean? So I don't want to come across like a bitch, so just nip me in the bud if I am, by the way. I'm now waiting to do some housework, bake some cookies, and wait for my boy coming home. Right, so this has been on since can't remember the time but it's been on from quite early it's not lasted as well as the other two did it's a bit, a bit patchy um, so I feel like it was nice at the time but I don't think it's got a lot of lasting power in it because that's not even been like a full 12 hours I think for the price it's good for just like a, a makeup but I wouldn't say it's the best out of all of them
in my opinion. But I have been out walks, I was baking and tidying up, so maybe that's what it is. But obviously you buy something for it to last. And I don't feel like this one is lasting, so. But so far I would still say the It Cosmetics and the Laura Mercier one's the best. See you tomorrow. Back again. I'm a lot more casual today. Today is just, I'm just having a pure chill day. And I'm so cosy, like I'm in a comfiest outfit. The garden gets started today. So yeah, I've just been kind of kicking about the house, but how hard is it having people in your, like, obviously they're not in my house, the gardens are outside, but like this morning I was at tea, coffee, and I'm like, no, you just kind of say that, just be nice, and like, yeah, yeah, I was like, oh, okay, so, me tea, me coffee, um, what else did I make? Oh, that was better than it was. Then I was like, fuck lunch, went and got them stuff to make nice sandwiches, crisps, cakes, biscuits for their tea, in case they don't want cakes for their tea. Lee was like, Abby, come on, and I was like, no, I just don't want them fucking going to someone's house and thinking that they never got in, so. How good is San Pellegrino? Reviews, we are doing good, we're nearly done. We are going to try the Ordinary brand. Um, this is called Serum Foundation 30ml Lightweight Serum Formula. Um, I got the tone, the colour medium, which is yellow undertones. Um, so this is the size. Not awful big in comparison to a can of juice. However, it is 30ml. I'm actually going to, this was super cheap though. Super, super cheap. Should have got it from ASOS. Yeah, so it comes in at £5.70 and I'm sure I got mine on ASOS. Yes, I did. The reviews are endless and they're quite good, to be honest. A lot of five stars. My only thing about this one, for me, because I don't like dewiness or glow, is because it says a serum foundation. A funny feeling it's going to be quite an oily based product or at least quite a dewy, but we'll soon find out. So this one is quite dark, <laughs> but I think with a tan, this would be a wee winner. Right, so, so far, I'm actually quite impressed by it. It's very, very, like, liquidy. However, amazing coverage. Um, not full coverage, though, but it does, like, blend quite well. So I'd probably say, right now, compared to my neck, I'm going to take it down so you can't super notice. Um, it's quite a warm tone, but to be honest, with a tan and on a holiday, I think this is beautiful. Really, I do. Quite watery, you can see it running, do you know what I mean? Just because this is quite a warm tone, my face feels a wee bit too dark. So I am going to go in just with the um, Maybelline one, just to slightly lighten underneath my eyes, just so it's not so warm tone the whole way around. And I'm not going to use a beauty blender because I don't want it really standy out here. I'm going to just go back over with the brush. Overall, I like it. It is a wee bit shiny. You've got a little bit of a glow to your skin. If you like that, great. You'll love it. If you don't, it's still nice. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to just quickly give it a quick set. Hold on, my mum wants the first time. Hiya, how are you doing? You and my dad are on my YouTube, look. You saying hi? Hiya. Hi there. Bronzer. Still supernatural, but you get a little bit of coverage and obviously the colour to the skin. Which, if you are looking for something that you can just pop over your tan, or like for on holiday purposes, there's SPF 15 in it. So again, perfect for on holiday. Hi, we're back. This is the fifth day of reviews so it's later on in the day so i've got like a little bit of concealer and bronzer on so so what i'll do is i'm just going to take it quite clear off because it was literally just like concealer and bronzer and then we will get going with the review so i have actually worn this product before um so i do kind of have a feel of it what i will say is when time i put it on it's just been like flung on my skin it's not been like sitting down doing it just now as if i'm actually going to do makeup so i'm hoping they may be a little bit different because i didn't love it 
I just felt that the last and power of it wasn't very good. Is that going to focus? Elf. It is called the Foundation Serum. Um, I have the concealer that I've been using a lot by Elf. I rave about the products. I think they're really, really good. Um, this one, the last time I put it on, I remember it being quite dry. Um, dry quite quickly and didn't have a glow on it. So if you're looking for a really glowy skin, then that's not for you. Right, so it's quite runny. Um, so that is the only thing I will say as well. I do remember it goes a long way. So you do not need a lot of it which again is amazing because affordability wise you do not want a product that you're going to be going through quite a lot and spending a lot of money on um what i will say about this one is i really think this would be a really good product mixed in with your moisturizer or like your sun cream if you're on holiday or something do i want to put concealer on no i think i might keep this one super natural so even though i would say it's more of a matte finish i am just going to go in slightly and set it just because I feel like you do kind of just need that anyway. Um, does this one have SPF in it? Yes, it does. It has SPF 25. It's a good size tub though. It's 14 ml, but for the size and for the price, I think it's quite affordable and quite good for money. Um, so done with the bronzer. Sorry guys. So Lee was just basically shouting to say that bear into the bag, the rubbish bag. That was true to go out the back, but it's actually Lee's fault because I asked him to take out the back sooner and he never and Bear ate the bolognese that we had for dinner tonight. Didn't you? Was it yummy? Did you enjoy? I don't know if you guys can hear it on camera. My breathing is so heavy, I'm just so so anxious. I get like this every time I upload something on YouTube. I don't know why, I don't know if it's just more like a thing when I'm like, oh. Do you know what I think it is as well, if, if I'm honest with you guys? And I thought I wasn't really going to say too much about it because sometimes I think it highlights it. But I've seen so much trolling recently, a little bit on myself and other girls. And I think I just, now I'm just like that bad way when I'm now analysing everything. Like everything I'm doing, I'm like, oh, what can these people say about me? Do you know, some days I put this gloss on, hate it. Other days I put it on, I'm like, ooh, so cute. Looking at this one, okay. I like it, but it is dry. It's not super glowy on the skin. Um, I feel like the little bit of glow here is from the blusher because the blusher has highlight in it. Um, hence why I've not recently been putting highlighter on because I don't really like highlighter, so I feel like I get enough from the blusher. Based on before, I think I'm going to change my opinion on it. It looks lovely. It gives you a coverage, but not too full. Um, it's fuller than maybe the Laura Mercier or the Ordinary Serum. It's not as full as the next one or the MYX, however you want to say it. Um, yeah, sorry, I've got a mirror there, guys. I keep forgetting that I should really be doing this for you, but... Yeah, so it is super light. It's still early. It's like five o'clock, so um, I'll probably be up late anyway. So what I'll do is I'll see how it lasts all day and come back on, hopefully, and tell you guys and show you guys yeah you can still see like all my my natural freckles you know i've added some there you can still see my natural ones doesn't feel heavy on the skin feels super light so i take back what i said at the beginning it is actually really nice on i think the problem was before i'd literally just one day put in my hand fucked on my face basically um um i think i got super lazy with makeup recently um so i'm so glad that i basically tried them out um, and also for you guys to see, like if you maybe think, like it, when I've been talking about my skin and stuff, if you feel that like your skin is a similar consistency to mine or whatever, or you're looking for the same thing I'm looking for, then I've maybe saved you a bit of money because now you can just buy the one that I've said. But yeah, pleasantly surprised with this one. Tomorrow I'll be filming like the one I've picked. Um, I'm, again, I'm super excited about. See you tomorrow for the end. What do I call it? End result. Top favourite. Knew it was going to come at some point. Tomorrow will be the top favourite. Hi, we are back. Um, so, finished the reviews as you probably have just watched. Yeah, pleasantly surprised with them all. Some more than others. I think all of them are amazing. I do have my favourites, which is why I'm here now with it on. 
Um, I've done a really natural, still glam, so like I, I could have went really more natural. Um, but I'm taking some pics today, so I needed just a little bit more coverage than usual. So my favourite that I feel like you can really go super, super light or really glam is the It Cosmetics one. I just love it. Like, I've wore it a couple of days where I've went, like, lashes, full pelt, full glam. And then I wore it the other day just that on its own. Um, a little bit of it in my moisturiser with some bronzer and it was stunning. Um, so yeah, I think money wise, the cost of that is so affordable. It's, I think anyone really in their budget is like anyone could afford that one. Um, so I feel like that's a really good one. It has SPF in it. Um, so yeah, I feel like it's got so many like tick points. It's, it's so good. The other one that I do love but again it's more it's a little bit more glowy and um, dewy on the skin and a slightly more natural um is a lot of Mercier this one full price if you're buying full size I think is 30 pounds um again though going off a normal foundation price if you're looking to fully scrap foundation it's not over it's not like overly expensive it is just you're going wait for a foundation However, the size of that and I might need for the tra travel size. To be honest, I probably just always buy the travel size, if I'm honest. Um, so yeah, I feel like super day-to-day -day for like the supernatural glowy look. Oh, look at me, I'm so cute with makeup on, but you think I have no makeup on is this one. But then I love the It Cosmetics for like that glam look, but you can still see all your complexion, you can still see your freckles, you're still really natural looking. But you can get away with it being a wee bit more glam is obviously the It Cosmetics one. The minute this is live and you've watched all of it, everything will be on my Instagram story as well if you want to head over there. Um, links of things, I can like show you the product next to the selfie so that you can see exactly what... Because you can really, you actually can see the difference in the photos, like I looked at them last night. And you can clearly see I'm wearing a different product in each photo, which is good. So you'll be able to pick out one that maybe suits yourself. And I would just like to reiterate that all of these reviews I have done are just based on my opinion, based on my skin uh, my skin type and the look that I was going for. If you're looking for completely natural, completely dewy, then obviously you'd probably prefer more the Laura Mercier or the... The serum, the original, sort of the ordinary serum foundation. The one I didn't like the most was the NYX. Now it wasn't that I didn't like how it looked, it was lovely on. A wee bit more fuller and also the, the last and power of it wasn't as strong as the other ones. So obviously for money wise you're wanting one that's going to last. If you're like, like, looking for something for work all day or if you're a bit like myself who loves a night out and tends like, to not really go home. You want one that's going to last, you know. I've been there before myself. I've literally at the toilet and I'm like, that is sliding off my dial. So yeah, that's just been a wee bit of fun. None of this is gifted, none of this is an ad. I bought all the products myself. Um, it was just something to kill time during isolation. Um, and also because I feel like so many people are probably a bit like, oh, I can't be bored with foundation, I want something. So when I come out, my skin's a bit lighter. So yeah, it's just a wee bit of fun. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, any questions you know you can just ask me on instagram or comment below um and yeah hopefully you're enjoying the videos that are coming there's loads more coming as well um another vlog coming there's a youtube room diy coming there's um boyfriend does my makeup that one's coming again i thank you so much for watching obviously i really appreciate people jumping on and watching it in your spare time when you really could be probably doing something better than watching me talk a lot of shite and I will see you for the next one.